Good morning and welcome to Worship with the United Church. We are a peace and justice community, a movement towards wholeness in a fragmented world. We are united in spirit, inspired by God's grace. We welcome all, we love all, and we seek justice for all. Today we are going to do something a little bit different we are being joined by Lucia Valdivia Sanchez, who is a friend and a sacred neighbor. And she is going to teach us about Dia de los Muertos, which is a sacred celebration which originated in Mexico. And it's also called the Day of the Dead. The time that we are about to share is an embodiment of our current series, which focuses on our relationships with our sacred neighbors, sacred seasons, sacred circles, and sacred stories. And we also focus on any gaps which might exist in between them. Thus the title to the series, Mind the Gap. Mind the Gap is a phrase that is familiar to our neighbors in Great Britain, especially for those who ride the tube, which is the London subway. Every time the tube doors close or open, a reminder to mind the gap is shared. It's a reminder to pay attention to the space in between where you are and where you are going. Mind the gap. Pay attention to what keeps you separated. Notice the thresholds. Be mindful of who or what you are about to roll over. We began our series last week by looking at the sacred celebrations which take place um, at the beginning, at the end of this month and the beginning of November. The Trigium of Halloween on October 31st, which is followed by All Saints Day on November 1st and All Souls Day on November 2nd. During this same three-day time period, there is also the Celtic festival of Samhain and Dia de los Muertos takes place during those same three days. We are grateful that Lucy is here for us today to close any gaps in our understanding about the sacred um, season the sacred celebrations. We're grateful for her generosity, her willingness to share time. And we are especially grateful for the way that what she shares will close those gaps in between our sacred neighbors, sacred seasons. So with all of this in mind, let's take a moment to center and settle ourselves in the presence of all that is sacred, whole, healing, 